Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be talking about uh, the 300 Spartans, King Leonidas, and the Battle of Thermopylae. This will be a brief history uh, on those topics. So first thing I want to do is I want to go over some misconceptions. So since 300 came out in 2006 and its sequel, uh, 300 Rise of an Empire came out, there's been a lot of misconceptions really about um, that time. So the biggest one is the size of the armies. So the Persian army was actually not in the millions, it was closer to probably about 200,000. Now the force opposing the Persian army was uh, the Greeks and there was actually close to about 7,000. So this battle was between the Persian army and their invasion of Greece uh, and the Greek city-states. So this battle actually took place at the same time as the, as the naval battle of Artemisium. Now, another misconception is how old King Leonidas was. Um, in, the, in the 2006 movie, uh, it says that he was 40 years old at the Battle of Thermopylae, but he was actually 60. He was born in 540 BC. Persian numbers didn't count for anything because of the narrow path that they were forced to go through that the Greeks were blocking. Usually, back then, when you had massive armies and an open battle, whoever had more numbers would win. But here it was different. It, it, it was who had better gear, who had better knowledge, and who could fight better. And that was the Greeks. Uh, the Spartans had uh, definitely better armor and they fought a lot better in their phalanx unit, uh, which I'll show you a picture of right now. Um, you'll actually learn that the only way they actually got beat was because they were outflanked. If they weren't outflanked by Persian forces, they probably would have wiped out the Persians. They Or they would have at least sent them back um, to their empire. So a Greek trader named Ephialtes uh, betrayed the Greeks by revealing a mountain pass that went behind the Greek forces. Now Xerxes sent in his commander Hydarns with 20,000 men to go and defeat the Phocians who were guarding that path. Now this was at, at night so when Hydarns saw the Phocians he thought they were Spartans, but once he learned that they weren't, uh, the Phocians were defeated. They actually went to a nearby hill to make their defense, uh, thinking that the Persians would come and attack them. But once Hydarns learned that they weren't uh, Spartans, he ordered his troops to fire arrows at them, and um, he, he quickly went on to encircle uh, King Leonidas and his forces. Now, once King Leonidas learned this, he called a council of war. Now, once he called that council of war, uh, some Greeks, uh, some Greek fighters left without orders, and some left uh, because they were ordered by King Leonidas. Now, he did this so he could cover their escape. Uh, he stayed behind with 300 Spartans, 700 Thespians, and 400 Thebans. Now, they were covering the escape of the Greeks because if they hadn't, if they all left, uh, what would have happened is they all would have been uh, wiped out and killed, and if he hadn't have covered the escape of the retreating Greeks, they would have been uh, run down by the Persian army. Now by doing this, he and his army saved about 3,000 men. He knew that he was going to die that day, and, and he knew that he uh, that the Persian forces had encircled them, and he knew that he had been outflanked, so he sent 3,000 men back so they could fight at a later date. So a after the battle, uh, Xerxes um, ordered King Leonidas' head to be cut off and for him to be crucified. Now this was very uncommon for the Persians to do this. Herodotus um, said that the Persians treated v valiant warriors with respect. An example of this is when Pythias was captured before the Battle of Artemisium. Now uh, the Greeks eventually did regain King Leonidas' bones and he had a f uh, proper burial with full honors and games were held in his honor each year. As that is just a brief history on the Battle of Thermopylae. Uh, you can comment below and ask me questions. Uh, I'll put my sources uh, where I got this information in the description. You can, you can head over to my website and please like and share this video and subscribe so you get an email whenever I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.